seconds after four seconds. So when she reaches this speed of five meters per second, she then goes at a constant speed for a further 60 seconds. So a further 60 seconds is going to take us to 64 and it should be a horizontal line through here. So when we get to here, this will be say 64 seconds. And then she moves with constant deceleration for a further 20 seconds. So a further 20 seconds is going to take us to 84 seconds along here. And constant deceleration is going to mean that it's a straight line coming downwards. And she crosses the finishing line with a speed of v meters per second. So she's not coming to rest here. So we just bring this down to some point down here, say, over the 84. And then if we travel back along here, this value here will be v. OK, so that's essentially it. But you might want to just add a few more bits to this. You might want to write a solid line or a dotted line down to here. It's up to you. So you can either have solid or dotted line. But you don't have to put anything in there, really. Um, what else? You might want to also put in the fact that because it was a 400 meter race, remember that the area under the graph represents that distance. So you might want to put that that's 400 meters in. But there you go. Essentially, as long as you've got this red line here and the times across here and your V and 5, I would have thought that would be sufficient. Okay?